Hello, my name is Melina Gould Suarez, and today I will present Prevent Hepatocellular Carcinoma Through Screening, Vaccination, and Treatment of Viral Hepatitis. The presentation and content is courtesy of Dr. Maya Balakrishnan. This project is funded by Cancer Prevention and Research Institute of Texas. Summary of the goals of the project are, number one, to reduce the burden of liver cancer in Harris County, Texas. Number two, identify Harris Health patients who are infected with viral hepatitis. Number three, to vaccinate against hepatitis B. Number four, to link patients affected with viral hepatitis to treatment and care. And finally, number five, to educate providers and patients about the current guidelines for screening, vaccination, and treatment of hepatitis B, also known as HBV, and hepatitis C, also known as HCV. Hepatocellular carcinoma is common and lethal. Hepatocellular carcinoma, also known as HCC, is projected to surpass breast and colorectal cancer to become the third leading cause of cancer-related death in the United States by the year 2030. In the United States, the age-adjusted HCC incidence has increased from 4 in 100,000 to 7 in 100,000 people. The fastest increase in HCC incidence has been among adults aged 55 to 64 years old, particularly those born between 1945 and 1965. Among racial and ethnic groups, Hispanics now have the highest incidence of HCC, while the incidence rate has dropped among Asians. Texas has the highest HCC incidence and mortality rates in the United States. This map here shows the incidence rates for the United States from 2007 to 2011 You can see that Texas is in the red here and falls into this quantile interval of 7.8 to 11.7 cases per 100,000. Harris County has the largest burden of HCC in Texas. Out of 246 counties in Texas, Harris County ranks 17th for HCC incidence. Because of its large population of 4.5 million, Harris County has the greatest number of new cases in the state annually. In addition, Harris County has a socioeconomic composition that renders its residents particularly vulnerable to negative health outcomes. 42% are Hispanic, with Hispanics carrying a higher risk of HCC, 20% live in poverty, and 22% are uninsured. Viral hepatitis is the main cause of HCC. Chronic infection with hepatitis B virus, also known as HBV, and or hepatitis C virus, also known as HCV, accounts for 80% of HCC cases. HCC is preventable. Prevention and therapy of viral hepatitis are associated with a reduction of HCC risk. However, many patients diagnosed with HCC are unaware of or are untreated for their viral hepatitis. Viral hepatitis screening occurs at an insufficient frequency in the general primary care setting for a variety of reasons. Prevent HC3 through screening, vaccination, and treatment is a public health program designed to reduce the burden of HCC in Harris County and disparities in treatment of the disease. The intervention entails screening for hepatitis B and C, vaccination against hepatitis B, and treatment of hepatitis B and C. The inter this intervention is based on U.S. Preventive Services Task Force recommendations for viral hepatitis screening and prevention. The goals are automatic screening for HPV and HCV infection among high-risk groups, systematic HPV vaccination, and patient navigator assisted linkage to treatment for patients who screen positive for HPV or HCV infection. Current practice is ad hoc screening for, H for chronic HPV and HCV infection, typically among patients with abnormal liver enzyme levels or cirrhosis. 
screening for hepatitis B and C. High risk individuals should be screened for HPV and HCV. Our goal is that we plan to develop automatic EPIC triggered screening of high risk individuals. Patient navigators will follow up on all testing. Current practice is that patient navigators review all HPV, HCV testing performed within the Harris Health System on a monthly basis. Based on testing results, patients are identified as either requiring as identified as requiring either vaccination or treatment. Hepatitis C risk factors include baby boomers, those people born between 1945 and 1965, intravenous drug users, either past or current, patients who, people who received blood transfusions before 1992, people who've had long-term hemodialysis, People born to an HCV infected mother, people with a history of incarceration, intranasal drug users, either past or current, people with an unregulated tattoo, people who engage in high risk sexual behavior, people with other percutaneous exposures. Hepatitis B risk factors include people born in high prevalence regions, US born persons not vaccinated as infants whose parents were born in high prevalence regions, people with HIV infection, intravenous drug users, people who have had household contact with HPV, sexual partners of people with HPV infection, and men who have sex with men. Here we review the HCV testing algorithm. If positive, HP, HCV PCR, is performed and if positive the patient is infected. The other laboratory requirements uh, are CBC, CMP, and INR with a write-up or quadrant ultrasound and HCV genotype. And the HCV PCR, these labs should all be available within the past year and that patient can be referred directly to GI hepatology clinic. If HCV PCR is negative, this means that there's no active infection and no further action is required. If testing is negative to start, no further action is required. Now for the HBV testing algorithm, patient has hepatitis B surface antigen positive, hepatitis B surface antibody negative, and hepatitis B core antibody positive, the patient is HBV infected. Please obtain an HBV DNA, hepatitis B, E, E antigen, CMP, CBC, right upper cotton and ultrasound, and these results should be from the past year, and then the patient can be referred to GI hepatology clinic. Moving on to this next column, patient is hepatitis B surface antigen negative, hepatitis B surface antibody positive, and they have anti hep hepatitis B core negative. This means that they have immunity from prior vaccination. No further action is required. If they have anti B hepatitis B core positive, this means that they have natural immunity from prior infection. And again, no further action is required. Moving on to the last column, patient tests for hepatitis B surface antigen negative, hepatitis B surface antibody negative, an anti-hepatitis B core is negative, you would vaccinate this patient. Anti-hepatitis B core is positive, check the HBV DNA positive and refer to hepatology clinic. Vaccinating against hepatitis B, HBV vaccine programs are the primary prevention strategy for HCC and are associated with significant reductions in HCC incidence. Goal, the patient navigator routes patients with HBV immunity to vaccination. Our current practice is that the patient navigator will flag the primary medical doctor if a patient meets the criteria for HBV vaccination. Treatment of viral hepatitis. Antiviral therapy is the main secondary HCC prevention strategy and is associated with significant reductions in HCC risk among people infected with HBV or HCV. Goal, patient navigator links patients with evidence of HBV or HCV infection to GI hepatology and ID clinics. 
Current practice, the patient navigator will flag the primary medical doctor if a patient meets the criteria for viral hepatitis treatment if a referral request is not already placed. If a referral request has already been placed but is on hold because of missing referral requirements, the patient navigator will issue a reminder. Thank you very much for your attention. This project, the Prevent Hepatocellular Carcinoma Through Screening, Vaccination, and Treatment of Viral Hepatitis is an interdisciplinary and cross-institutional effort. And we appreciate your involvement in this project. Members that are involved from Baylor College of Medicine include Dr. Aaron Thrift, who is the Principal Investigator, Dr. Hashim El Sarag, the Co-Principal Investigator, Dr. Maya Balakrishnan, Co-Investigator, Dr. Tom Giordano, co-investigator, and myself, Melina Gould Suarez, as co-investigator. From the University of Texas School of Public Health, Dr. Catherine Troisi, co-investigator. From the Paris Health System, Loretta Hanser, co-investigator. And the project contact is Jonathan Cole, research coordinator. He can be reached at jkole at bcm.edu. Thank you again.